Well, the MBOT 2 is here, and today we're going to have a look to see what's inside this box and have a bit of a play with the gear that we have today. Some new sensors, some very, very, very good motors coming back into this kit as well, and it's really, really easy to see this has been a kit that's been developed with educators in mind. So off the bat, we can see that the typical MBOT chassis that we know is here. It's been modified a little bit to uh, cater for the new uh, motors. The MBOT 2 shield, which the um, CyberPi connects into, and the CyberPi itself. So the CyberPi has all the buttons and analog stick on the front and then this pin box to be able to sit into the shield um, to be able to allow it to operate the motors and some of the other servos and stuff like that as well. So instruction kit and also provided with the educational pack is basically this massive line follow mat which is amazing. It's got a whole bunch of different colors on there the kids can play with as well. Uh, and then into the kit that's included as I said before, this definitely is a kit that's been targeted at educators. So once a kit has been built, there really isn't a great deal of additional parts that are floating around in there. It's been built with a purpose, and that is for teaching kids robotics education. So some of the biggest changes obviously that have happened with this new build have been the addition of some new sensors. So this is probably the most exciting one for me, a quad RGB, um, basically a line sensor. It's able to detect up to eight different colors as well. Um, and all of these sensors now are very similar to the DragonBot series where they are actually interconnected. So they're all uh, sort of piggybacking off each other which allows us to control quite a number of sensors just with the one individual port that the MBOT2 provides. The M180 uh, motors, these are so solid. I've enjoyed using these on the Ranger especially. Uh, it's great to see that MakeBlock have um, included these in the educational kit for the MBOT2. They're a solid motor and super, super accurate and reliable. Just gonna get into a quick build of the educator kit here. What I really noticed with this, it is really simple to build. Um, we're talking probably upward of 12 screws hold the whole thing together. Very, very small amount of parts that are floating around. A lot of the parts now, as I said before, from an educator's perspective, they are enclosed. Um, there's no uh, issue with moisture or anything else like that getting into exposed componentry. Uh, and it's a really, really well sealed unit. Um, M180s, this, the uh, motors are screwing into the wheels themselves, so the wheels have no issue coming off. Um, everything is on there, it's really, really neat and tidy and makes for a great classroom robot. 